Glenn Manton, who's the co-founder of White Line, and he's up here in the region for the Jungle Ride, which is taking place tomorrow, which is uh, going to be a shame for. Well, I could say the same for you. Come on, mate. You just come off the desert island. <laughs> <That's laughs> right. Well, we live a long way away from anywhere, mate. It's a very beautiful space it is. Much, yeah, that is actually most definitely. Now, um, tell us a little bit about, uh, about White Line and the Jungle Ride, which is taking place. The jungle ride's really out of my hands. We've got a local uh, resident here, Wesley Stevens, yep. who is the driving force and the heart and soul behind the jungle ride. And uh, in association with Leslie and myself, uh, became apparent almost 10 years ago through the very space that we're in the gym up here in Port Douglas. And uh, my background in white line, being the co founder, and then meeting people throughout the community prepared to foster and help that space grow. I uh, saw Leslie take on this jungle ride as her baby, something that she's been able to really drive forward in a productive way, which assists us back in Melbourne and throughout Australia now. Uh, mentor programs, uh, employment programs, uh, role model programs that assist young people predominantly in the juvenile justice system, yeah. but throughout the community who are highly disadvantaged. Yeah, of course. So you've obviously been involved in White Line for a number of years now. What are some of the, the most positive changes that you've seen in that, in that time? Well, look, I, I'd love to be able to write to and tell you that everything's been rose in the path and young people left, right and centre have achieved great things in life. But the truth is we've had some great peaks and some terrible shocks. We've lost young people along the course of the journey, uh, whether it's to self-harm or drug abuse, or I guess for that matter the system, some people find themselves in that juvenile justice system and in that penal system for we into our lives, yeah, but we have had some great spikes uh, and done some great preventative work. Yeah, so of course, yeah. across the board, to be truthful, probably all evens out. Yeah. But if people such as Leslie or even yourself, uh, given time and effort to this interview, don't have uh, an interest in young people and giving them the opportunity, then you don't see any spikes. Well, I guess that, I mean, probably the connections that you have made and, and established over that 12 year period, such as Leslie, and no doubt there would be people like her all over Australia, so that's definitely the pop, uh, one of the major positives to take out. Well, Leslie is without doubt up to the point in the end in terms of people who have been involved and get their hands dirty and then do a lot of hard work. But I do have with our ladies literally stopping the industry and can give $10 yeah, okay. to support White Line. And I always tell those people that I prefer that that money went to their grandchildren and that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's not a matter of trying to throw huge masses of money from individuals. Uh, corporate Australia should really look at that. Uh, and corporate Australia has got to um, still contribute in that space. And in terms of individuals, individuals always spirit and we draw other people together. Yeah. And again, bring it back to why we're here in this, this context and why looking like a shaggy dog straight out of the pool of the uh, Mandalay Apartments. It's a lovely plug there. <laughs> uh, it's individuals in this region who have all given so much to, to be involved. Yeah, so have you actually written the course before? Or is no. Did you know what's ahead of you? I mean, Port Douglas, I didn't realise anyone really is ever really up here for any reason other than getting to the Portland back. Yeah. Well, Glenn, good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Thanks for your time. time. And, um, what do you, you go with a, you know, a hand blazer? Oh, I actually shaved this morning. You shaved so, this morning. Yeah. Yeah.